The university has the authority to confer honorary degrees on individuals who have either earned distinction for activities associated with education, business, the professions, culture, creative work or public service, or who have given particularly outstanding service to the university. Today, we are delighted to be able to bestow two honorary degrees. The first on Eugene Kaspersky. <laughs> Eugene Kaspersky is a mathematical engineer who has developed some of the most advanced antivirus software in the world. He graduated from Moscow's Institute of Cryptography, Telecommunications and Computer Science in 1987 to start work at a multidisciplinary research institute. It was there that he first began to study computer viruses. In 1989, Eugene detected and analyzed the Cascade virus on his computer and developed a disinfection utility for it. He started collecting malicious programs and disinfection modules for them, and this exotic collection would go on to become the foundation of the Kaspersky Antivirus Database, which today includes more than 8 million records and 94 million samples of malware, and is one of the most complete antivirus databases in the world. In 1997, Eugene and his colleagues from the KAMI Information Technologies Centre decided to establish an independent company. From that moment, he has headed the company's antivirus research and was named CEO of Kaspersky Lab in 2007. At the moment, Kaspersky Lab is an international group that registered its holding in Great Britain and employs over 2,400 highly qualified specialists. The company currently operates in more than 200 countries and territories across the globe and has its own regional offices in 30 countries. Eugene has made an invaluable contribution to computer science and IT security. And Plymouth University, which has itself made IT security a specialization, is delighted to be able to recognize his outstanding achievements by awarding him an honorary degree. Vice Chancellor, I have the honor to present Eugene Kaspersky for the award of an honorary doctorate of science degree of Plymouth University. Thank you very much, and uh, I'm a little bit nervous because it's uh, very unexpected to receive such an award here in the Plymouth University. Uh, that's the greatest pleasure, and that's, that proves that my personal contribution in my company, uh, my employees, uh, thank you, uh, that we're doing the right job and uh, going in the right way. And that's just a proof that we, are, we, are do, we do our best to support the cyberspace and to keep the peace in this land. But at the same time, I think that the fact I'm here is also the bad news. Because it indicates the level of cyber threats. It just proves that now we are living in a very different world. It's a world of computers, communications, networks, but at the same time, there are a lot of different types of threats. And these threats, they don't stay at the same uh, level. Actually, there is evolution. Within a very short period of time, 20 years, the computer viruses, it was just a, it was a, just a kid's uh, simple computer viruses, uh, not important, the hooligans. It became a computer crime, then organized crime, with a pff, huge illegal businesses in the internet, then hacktivists, and now we're living in the era of cyber wars, cyber weapons, cyber sabotage. But the cyberspace is different. I'm afraid that in a very close future we will face the attacks on the nations, on the states, attacks which are coming from, from the internet, from the land where there are no borders, there are no distance, there are no time. 
and to protect our nations, our cultures, our economies, we need to learn IT security. So that's why I'm very thankful for the Plymouth University that the university pays so much attention to the IT security education. Because I'm sure that in very soon we will need more and more IT security engineers, experts, gurus, because we are living in a new world. We are living in the cyberspace. Thank you very much. Today, when they told me that I will have their, this award, I said, okay, you guys, it's not serious. I will not believe, because uh, I'm just IT security man. I know that I'm, well, I'm known, uh, and my product is used in many other, many countries around the globe, so we have uh, millions, tens, or hundreds millions of users, but I will not believe that we'll have uh, such an award. Uh, so first of all, that was stress <laughs> for me. Uh, I said, hey, are you serious about this? Said, of course, yes, sir. So Eugene, we have this, this, we have this the message, we have the papers from uh, Plymouth University. I said, hey, we are really doing some right things and they're doing right strategy. We have right strategy, our products, our services, and our <laughs> contribution, not just for their business, not just for the cyber world, but also to universities. And it's very important. Uh, so my advice is that world has been changed so quick. Uh, I'm still not so old man. Uh, I'll be 47 in a few days. Uh, but even within such a short period of time, there are so many changes. Because I was born and I was, well, I was graduated before mobile phones. Well, after computers, but before mobile phones. Uh, far before the internet, the social media, all these services which we have in the cyberspace. Uh, so the world is being changed very quick. So my, my advice is keep your eyes open, learn more, think more, be as active as it possible and be there, be there man or woman, uh, employee or manager or CEO of this century, not previous one. Be open, be, in, be a social, be active and successful and don't forget about cybersecurity, please.